This video is about transpiration, and that is the process by which water moves through a plant and is lost through its leaves. Uh, so losing water through your leaves is not obviously great news for the plant, but it is also a key driver of their whole transport system because by losing water, it creates a negative pressure that draws more water up through the, through the stem from the roots. So um, it's an important process and it's affected by many things, but the most important thing is the one here uh, we'll talk about first, which is light intensity. At night, plants don't photosynthesize. There's no point, there's no light. Uh, but when they, they do experience light conditions, they open their stomata to allow gases to diffuse in and out of the leaves, particularly carbon dioxide, which is what they need. Uh, the cost of that is that's an opportunity for the water in the plant to get lost uh, through the same stomata that have been opened. So high light intensity means more transpiration, unfortunately for the plant. Um, but what else uh, will affect it? Well, many other things. A bit like rates of reaction, it's affected by things like temperature, pressure, surface area. So surface area, if you've got a lot of leaves and they're very flat, you, you have a lot of stomata and not much volume, so high rate of transpiration. Whereas in desert conditions, you think of a cactus, it does, doesn't have leaves normally, uh, very low surface area to volume ratio, that's to reduce transpiration. Um, Low pressure means more water gets drawn out. High temperature means more kinetic energy of particles, more transpiration. And then things like humidity, if it's dry, more water is lost. Uh, or if there's a lot of wind across the plant, it dries the leaves out. It dries the plant out by increasing transpiration. So try and think about the logic of those things when you try and remember these factors because they're important. Um, thanks for listening. Hope that was helpful.